Welcome to this EZ series. Today's the question is CZ 2023 previous year question. A number n is formed by writing number 9 for 99 times. What is the remainder if n is divided by 13? Actually, the concept from which this question was taken is number system. From number system, divisibility rule is a subtopic in which this question was taken. So, in this divisibility rule section, the number is asked as 13. So, you need to use the divisibility rule for number 13. Let us see what is the divisibility rule for 13. There are two rules for number 13. This is second rule. Using this second rule, often the questions are asked in the CSAT paper itself. The rule is difference between the last three digits and the balance digits of the number must be a multiple of 13 or 0 or 0 is not given here. So, you can include or 0 that is example number 521521. If you segregate this number like this, you will be getting a set of 3 numbers. 521 is the last 3 digit numbers. The remaining number is that is also a 3 digit number similar to 521. Okay? This is the remaining number. This rule tell you the difference between the difference between these 2 numbers must be either 0 or a multiple of 13 then this number will be definitely divisible by 13. This is the rule for number 13. So, let us check what is the difference we get here. This is 521, another number also 521. The difference obviously 0. As the difference is 0, what does it mean? This number is divisible by 13. Based on this concept, this question was asked in the previous year 2023 CSAT. So, let us check how to use this rule to crack that question. Given is writing number 9 for 99 times. So, the given number is of the form like this. Okay. Number 9 is written for 99 times. So, what is the remainder they are asking? So, you all know that the rule for number 13 deals with any 6 digit number if you segregate that 6 digit number into 3 and 3 digit number, these sets make a 3 digit number difference between the 2 sets. If suppose it is 0, this 6 numbers, these 6 digits are definitely divisible by 13. Using this, we can crack the remaining values. How many 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, how many 9s are there? Totally, there are 99 times. So, out of this 99, how many set of 6 we will have? So, set of 6, how many set of 6? So, just in that 99, how many 6 are there? Just fine. So, in this 99, number of 6 are 16 times 6. How many set of 6? 16 times. What is the remainder? Remainder 3. After 16 sets of 999, we will be getting extra 3 nines. That is, this is set 1. This is set 2. This is set 3, set 4, like that totally set 16, we have that is up to set 16, we have these numbers will get cancelled with number 13 and the remainder is 0, that is up to 16 set we got the number is actually divisible by 13 
and the remainder become 0. After 16 sets, what is the remainder we have? The remainder we got is 3 in this case. What is the exact meaning of this? That is, I told you 16 sets. So, 16 sets means, what is the value of one set? Each set is equal to 6 times 9. So, in this 16 sets, how many 9? 16 into 6. 9 to 6 times 9. Suppose if the question is given to you in the CSAT exam, instead of 99 times, 9 to 6 times is given. Your answer is directly going to be the 0. But given is not 9 to 6, 99 given. So, extra how much? After 9 to 6, how much extra? 3. So, 3 times 9 you want to take. Remainder 3 times. 3 times means 3 times 9 only you need to consider. What to do with this 3 times 9? Just take the 3 times 9. That is 999. 2 be divided by 13. What is the remainder? Directly we can find that. So, let me take 13. For your reference, just I have written some of the multiples of 13. So, how many 13s are here? 7 times 13 is 91. So, remainder I got 89. So, from this 78 I take 6 times 13 is 78. What is the remainder? 11. So, answer for this question is going to be 11. Right? What is the quick approach in the exam? Given is 9 is written for 99 times. We all know that a set of 6 numbers will be divisible by the number 13 according to the divisibility rule. How many set of 6 is there in 99? So, just directly divide 99 divided by 6. What is the remainder you have in this case? The remainder is 3. So, direct approach 9 is to be written 3 times that is triple 9. Directly take that value and divide with 13. So, you will get 7 times 13 is 91. So, the remainder is 89. 6 times 13 is 78. The remainder is 11. So, the answer is going to be 11. This is the short approach you can use in the exam. Next segment. Answer for the previous question. Let x be a positive integer such that 23m plus 81 is divisible by m. What is the meaning? This number is divisible by m as well as this number is also divisible by m. No wonder this number is divisible by m because 23m is a multiple of m. So, the remainder we get in this case is 0. What about this 81? Point is there. So, m is the factor of 81. So, let us analyze what are the factors of 81. 1 is a factor, 81 is also a factor, 9 is a factor, 3 is a factor of 81, 3 into 27. So, how many factors we have? Totally 5 factors we have for 81. So, the answer is 5. 5 possible values for x, you can choose option D. What is the another way of finding the factors of 81 is method 2. 81 you can take directly you divide with 3 because 2 is not divisible. 27 times 3 is 81, again 3. 9 times 3 is 27, again 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Finally, I got 3 power 4. So, if you prime factorize 81, it can be written as 3 power 4. What is the factor theorem rule? Add 1 with the powers. So, here only 1 base value. So, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 is the number of factors for number 81. So, in this way also you can find the answer is 5. Question for today. A number n is formed by writing 5 for 1 or 2 times. 102 times we are going to write. What is the remainder if n is divided by 7? 
your options are given here all are single digit numbers as usual you can post your answer in the comment section we'll meet you in the next session with another interesting question thanks for watching